Hello, beautiful breathers, and welcome back to Prana Flow. One of the most common questions I get as a breathwork instructor is, should I breathe through my nose or mouth? So in today's video, I will answer exactly that. Specifically, I will go over three reasons why a certain way of breathing is much more beneficial, what happens during nasal and mouth breathing, when you should breathe through your nose versus mouth, and lastly, breathing during breathwork practices. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We make videos on topics about breathwork, mindfulness, wellness, and guided breathwork practices that you could include in your daily routine. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. Should I breathe through my nose or mouth? To answer this question quite simply, you should primarily breathe in and out through your nose. Nasal breathing is much more beneficial than mouth breathing and I will share with you three reasons why. So the first reason is that your nose is your natural line of defense. It's built to support our respiratory system. I mean, think about the air that we breathe. It's filled with all sorts of things, pollution, bacteria, viruses. Researchers show that when we inhale, we breathe in 100 billion particles in a single day, and 80% of that gets trapped in the nose, so it never enters our lungs. Now, before I share the other two reasons, I will first explain what happens during nasal breathing. As we inhale, air passes through the nasal concha before entering the lungs. As you can see, there are these groove-like passages that are lined with mucus. It is here that the inhaled air is moisturized, humidified, warmed, and cleansed from any particles, bacteria, dust, and allergens. The moisturized clean air then travels down through the airways to the lungs. Several animals also have a nasal concha that keeps invaders and pollution out. Now during exhalation, it's also important to use your nose. The nasal concha reheats and re-moisturizes the air from the lungs and pushes out any trapped particles. So the 80% of the particles that were trapped in the nose during inhalation gets pushed out during exhalation. Notice that when you inhale through the nose, the air might be cold and dry. But when we exhale, feel how much warmer the air actually is. The second reason to breathe through your nose is that your nose releases a gas called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide aids in killing various viruses and boosts your immune system. It's also a vasodilator, which means that it widens the blood vessels and opens up the cardiovascular system and bronchi. This makes it easier for blood to flow and for oxygen to circulate throughout the body, thus increasing your energy levels. The third reason is that when you breathe through your nose, air is able to reach the lower lobes of your lungs which activates our parasympathetic nervous system. This is the part of the nervous system that's responsible for rest, recovery, and digestion. So when your body is in a stressed state, nasal breathing can help bring a sense of calmness and enable us to function better. So these were the three reasons why nasal breathing is much more beneficial than mouth breathing. What happens during mouth breathing? None of this happens during mouth breathing. 
We inhale the 100 billion particles in cold and dry air, making our airways irritated, inflamed, and narrow. Prolonged mouth breathing can affect the way we talk, the position of our teeth, facial development and growth in children, our quality of sleep, and our energy levels. It can even lead to several behavioral problems such as ADHD, anxiety, depression, and other cognitive issues. Mouth breathing at night puts you at a higher risk for sleep apnea and can lead to snoring, bad breath, tooth decay, and gum disease. To avoid all this, throughout the day, check in on how you're breathing and make sure you're using your nose to inhale and exhale. A good rule of thumb to remember is the mouth is for eating, the nose is for breathing. When would I breathe through my nose versus mouth? The only time you will temporarily use your mouth to breathe is when you're working out or doing any strenuous activity where you need more air to your lungs more quickly or when your nose is congested due to allergies or a cold. Breathing during breath work. During breathwork pranayama practices, where you perform ancient yogic breathing techniques, you will use your nose to both inhale and exhale. The reason that you will mostly use your nose during these pranayama practices is that on a subtle level, it brings you into a meditative state because you're not constantly moving with your mouth open. Now, in some breathwork exercises that are more stimulating, such as stronger hyperventilating techniques, you are performing a strenuous activity. So in this case, you may inhale through the nose and out through the mouth, or inhale and exhale using your mouth. During breathwork practices, I will say this though, to remember to do what feels comfortable to you. At no point should you force anything. Now let's recap what we learned today. Three reasons why nasal breathing is much more beneficial than mouth breathing. One, our nose is our natural line of defense. Two, it releases nitric oxide. And three, it activates part of our parasympathetic nervous system. Mouth breathing can lead to physical, mental, emotional, and developmental problems. Only use your mouth to breathe when your nose is congested and during exercise or other strenuous activities. During any breathwork practice, breathe in whatever way makes you feel comfortable. And lastly, in daily life, Remember that the mouth is for eating, the nose is for breathing. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more breathwork videos like this. I wish you all the love and light and I will see you soon.